Is there prior council mm -hmm. meetings? Fine. Special events applications? No questions. Go ahead. Thank you. Um, we have a presentation tonight by Garden State Film Festival. Same time. Okay. Um, I met Diane a couple of years ago, and we've been working together on a couple of projects. And I suggested this year that the, since we are, since the festival is coming back to Asbury Park, we should just give a wing day of our party the first night. So I'm going to invite friends. We've got Xander Berkeley from The Walking Dead to come as a special guest. Uh, Ed As Asner, of course, will be there, as well as numerous other celebrities. I'm on Thank you. On the Sunday and. My background is in filmmaking. I'm a filmmaker. I'm the daughter of Paul Henry, who, if you watch old movies, was one of the co-stars of Casablanca. And if you watch the romantic old movies, he was the star of Now Voyager with Betty Davis, where he went to cigarettes and other things with that one. Watched her. Did very well for cigarettes, not so well for people's health. <laughs> um, but I'm, I'm here to help throw the party of the year. Yay! Yay! Okay, so anyway, we are happy to move on the, on the screen are some uh, slides of our retrospect. Last year was our 15th anniversary. This will be our 16th event. And it will remind those of you who don't remember, well, most of you are recognized and do remember what, uh, what the city of Asbury Park looked like at that time and what we did to um, help revitalize the, the area. Um, some of the things you should know is uh, the GSFF was born in 2002 and first presented in 2003. We were the lead organization with the Black Box in creating the Asbury Park Cultural Plan, which I would like for us to revisit very much. GSFF was the lead organization in the effort to save and restore the Savoy Theater. GSFF presented in Asbury Park for 11 years. We were the first to put parties in the Grand Arcade. We brought companies like Meridian that then produced parties in the Grand Arcade on an annual basis. Um, they didn't know about it, we brought them. And we jump-started the revitalization. We are still, for the most part, a volunteer organization. GSFF brings filmmakers, fans, celebrities from literally all over the world. Uh, we make use of the entire time and fill up all eight venues. The venues this year are, we're very happy to announce, the Paramount Theater, for Friday only. That's the big party in Convention Hall and then the first screening. The Kingsley Ballroom at the Berkeley Hotel. The Continental Ballroom at the Berkeley Hotel. The venue in the Asbury Hotel, which I don't know the name of. What's the name? The Asbury. The Asbury. Well, who knew? Then the House of Independence, Jersey Shore Arts Center, the Asbury Park Senior Center. Thank you very much to the council and uh, for, for helping us secure that. And the council chamber, which is one of our favorite venues. Um, we will use two apps this year. We're getting very high tech. One for the volunteers and one for patrons, which will link to the parking app. Yay! <laughs> Thank you for that. That's brilliant. Um, we're also, um, uh, uh, the highlights for 2018 is we will present over 220 films from all over the world. Last year, the person who came from farthest away was from China, the year before South Africa. Um, we do have films from South Africa in this year, and they, they claim they're coming if they get in. So we'll know all about the schedule in January. Um, Academy Award-winning stop-motion company, Leica, will do two kids' hands-on workshops. One is a class trip on um, Thursday, the 22nd, and one on Saturday for the general public. Not to be missed. They're terrific. They did Coraline, The Box Trolls, um, Kubo and the Two Strings, and Paranormal, Norman, right. <laughs> VIPs we have secured for, so far, as Monica was saying, are Armand Asante, Xander Berkeley, Ed Asner, and more to come as, as the films get selected. We need your help. It's, it's no, it's no uh, secret that funding for arts organizations is at an all-time low in the state of New Jersey. Anyone who could help with ad sales, sponsor leads, or, or securing volunteers would be greatly appreciated. We really need as much help as we can get, and thank you so much for, for being wonderful. Oh, and the, hot off the press, our honorary chair this year will be Brian Chirpica from um, iStar. So we're hoping that we get a lot of support. He's thrilled to um, serve. and. Um, Thank you all again. I hope you enjoy the, the old pictures of, of all of us that, you know, 
that devoted so much of our many hours and, and uh, love for this town. Thank you again. What, what the hell took you so long to come back? <laughs> and I'm only kidding. We were driving back from uh, Atlantic City. <laughs> <laughs> One thing we would like to say, we did learn a lot in Atlantic City, good and bad. We learned a lot. Uh, one thing that we did, we've, we've secured some wonderful production help from there. I mean, let's look, remember that? <laughs> um, and uh, we... Um, you have some wonderful producers that are coming and also uh, the jitney guy frank is going to come and run the people around all over town so um he's terrific and does it at a reason very reasonable price so um you know the best of both worlds live and learn well uh, we can't thank you enough and we are so happy that you're using the senior center because this is the first time we'll have part of your event on the southwest section that's so correct that is and we're, we are happy about that Yes. You know, we're, yeah. we're thrilled to death and uh, we cannot thank you enough for coming yeah, we, home. In the early days, my husband and I did a lot of programs with the West Side um, Community Center. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so many, many, many um, with Rutgers, um, Leo, and, uh, you know, we did the West Side Community Center. We did all kinds of video projects with the kids. And we look forward to doing lots and lots of out outreach again in Asbury Park. Thank you. Any questions? One question. Yes. Um, do you have cards or contact information? Absolutely. I just wanted to add that I'm a proud Brookdaleian. I work full time at Brookdale Community College at Brookdale TV. So I love Asbury Park TV. And we're Thank JAG members. You. It's really exciting. Can't wait. We're excited. It's our 16th yeah, homecoming. March Sweet 16. So. Okay, I'm yes, not going to. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, and everybody got ad sheets and everything else? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay, Nate, do you want me to shut this anybody off? Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, again, Diane, thank you very much, please. Thank you, and you know where we're at, so if you need anything, call. Oh, you can count on it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and you can count on me getting back to you. I know, okay. <laughs> okay. All right, I guess we're going to move on to review of agenda items for this evening's meeting. is a special event. Uh, 365 is setting the organizational meeting dates for 2018. Which is going to be January 3rd at 7 o'clock. Sorry, didn't mean to interrupt you. Just it's quite all right. Wanted to pass the uh, Resolution 366 is awarding of a RCA <laughs> agreement for 1409 um, Summerfield Avenue. Resolution <coughs> 367 is terminating a sewer um, account. 368 is getting rid of property that has no value. Um, 369 and 370 are related to liquor license renewals. And then 371 is the contract for public health um, nursing services for 2018. Um, resolution 372 is um, the proposed redevelopment plan for 1001 First Avenue. Um, this is a referral to the Planning Board. Resolution 373 is change orders number one and two for Fourth Avenue improvements. There are zero dollar amounts with that. Um, resolutions change order 17 and 18 for BlackRock for the road program, zero dollar amounts with those. Um, approval of payment of bills is 375. 376 is resolution for the transfer of appropriations during 2017. You'll notice that there's a large amount for engineering. Um, that amount for engineering is a reimbursable DEP grant. This was the remediation for the property formerly known as the Turk Club, um, which Interfaith has renamed. I can't remember the name. Um, this is through the hazardous discharge grant program. So we'll be reimbursed this um, in the next couple months. 
377 is an execution of a shared service agreement with Ocean Township for the sewer with the sewage authority for technical rescue services. This is with the fire department. And resolution authorizing the purchase of electricity. Um, earlier today, we conducted uh, energy, a reverse energy um, electric um, auction. <coughs> what this, at the end of the day, what this means is that we'll save approximately eighty-five to hundred thousand dollars in next year's energy bills. Um, if you so elect to approve this purchase, um, this resolution, it is for natural gas and um, electric services. That's all. Is there any questions? No questions. No. Matters by City Council. Um, so I'd just like to take a moment and wish everyone a happy holiday season. And uh, thank you all for coming out to these meetings that are often tedious even for us. But we appreciate yeah. your, your feedback and, and we appreciate you being engaged. And thanks to everyone who serves on a committee or commission. I know there's often long hours that uh, go hand in hand with that, but we appreciate that. And just one other thing, um, Langosta Lounge is doing a complimentary meal on December 25th from 11.30 to 2 if anyone is in need of a nice hot holiday meal. Um, I'm sorry, I forgot one thing. We'd like, I would, staff would like to recommend adding resolution 379, which is for 4th Avenue Pavilion, um, entering into agreement with Asbury, um, sorry, Madison Asbury for um, a subsequent developer agreement for 4th Avenue Pavilion. Um, you, as you have the draft agreement, um, for in summary, uh, Madison will be doing certain workforce development activities. There's 15 city dates and the draft agreement that was discussed in closed session, we'd like to add um, no sound, no noise, no activities after the hour of 10.30 at night. So um, for the regular meeting, we're requesting please make that um, motion to add to the agenda. Sorry. Um, the city and the city departments of community development and recreation along with the quality of life committee is inviting the public to donate new or gently worn winter wear for men, women, um, and children. The drop off dates are from December 15th through January 12th and the drop off location is on the second floor of this building. You can leave it at the city manager's office and we're looking for coats, caps, gloves, mittens, scarves, sweaters, warm weather gear. And there will be a winter coat giveaway on January 13th at the senior center between the hours of nine and 12. <coughs> and I also would like to echo Eileen and wish everyone a very, very happy and safe holiday. And thank you for all that you do throughout the year. Basically, that's what, that's what I have planned on saying. <laughs> because it comes from our hearts, and we, we really care about, not that we disagree with everything people are saying, <laughs> but you are a big help to us. One of the things that when people get up there and talk, various people, and we try to reply back to them, but you take it home with you, and you might wake up two or three o'clock in the morning and say, oh, you know what, they got a point. And we just appreciate you all year long. The ones that's here now, the ones that's on their way. You have a happy, happy holiday, and please be safe to you, to you and your family. I just want to make one correction. <coughs> the giveaway is not going to be at the senior center. It's going to be in the transportation center. So it's going to be here in the transportation center on Saturday, January 13th. Again, the hours are 9 to 12. Thank you. One more announcement. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is never Thanks for our good mayor. I was trying to keep it short, but he's right. <coughs> he's absolutely right. We, um, as we're part of recreation, it's having what you call a give back. It's like a meet and greet this coming uh, Saturday, December the 16th. And uh, so many people have helped the recre uh, recreation department out this year. And we really appreciate it. And we try to give back as much as we can to them. 
and it's this Saturday, December the 16th, free. You don't have to pay nothing from 7 to 12, and you're more than welcome. Thank you. Where at, Jesse? Hmm? Where is it located? Uh, BFW on West, West Lake. Okay, thank you. From 7 to 12. Right. Okay. Yeah, so I want to give um, a big thank you, John. Thank, thank you, you to, um, speaking of volunteers, uh, the Master Plan Planning Board volunteers. I know Yvonne and Barbara um, tirelessly are just two of them put a lot of effort into that and came yeah. up with a really, and Pam, Jim, and Jim, Jim, oh and Jim, um, came up with a, a great master plan and um, uh, the planning board passed it on Monday uh, unanimously. So um, kudos to all of you for spending all the time that you did on working on the master plan. And then I want to also thank Connie Breach who is a member of our local law enforcement who threw a Asbury Park toy drive uh, two weeks ago. She collects toys and has, I think she's in her 17th year, uh, toys for over 400 families in Asbury Park. So, kudos to Connie. Okay. That's it. Uh, like everybody else said, uh, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and a happy new year. Well, we have a meeting on the 27th, so I'll say the happy new year. <laughs> uh, this past Saturday, there was a great event at the Springwood Avenue uh, Senior Center, the Kwanzaa event, and then it was followed with the Christmas tree lighting, uh, the second annual across the street at the new Springwood Avenue Park. That was very, very good and well attended. So thank you, Yvonne. Thank you, Steph, for making that happen. Uh, I'd like to throw some kudos out to Congressman Pallone. Uh, we met with him this past week. Uh, there's been some problems going on with the TPS, the Tempor Temporary Protective Services, where uh, the President Administration has hit the Haitian community hard. So we wanted to talk to him about that, and we talked to him about some other issues. We thanked for him for his negative vote on the 2017 act where concealed carry weapons from other states can be now carried in New Jersey and how three New Jersey congressmen could vote for that to me is just unbelievable <coughs> but uh, they, they voted for it uh, but again kudos to Congressman Pallone for reaching out to us and uh, having a meeting and he's going to set up future meetings to stay on top of this uh, he's always been very supportive of Asbury Park and is very appreciative uh, and that's it Matters by the city manager? None at this time. Matters by the city attorney? Just one matter, and that is with regard to ordinance number 2017-47, which is on the agenda tonight for introduction. That's the ordinance that authorizes the removal of three on-street parking spaces located on Bangs Avenue and Bond Street in connection with the development of the property located at 700 Bangs Avenue. And this relates to a resolution that was approved by the planning board back in 2015 and a proposed development that will be taking place at that site that will involve the construction of a 56 uh, car on-site parking facility in connection with that development. There is a need to remove three on-street on metered parking spaces. Late this afternoon, the director of planning and redevelopment and the transportation planner reached out to me to request that there be two minor amendments worked into that ordinance before you introduce it. And I'd just like to ask Mr. Manzella to briefly address them with you so that when you move it forward later on during the regular meeting, you can move it forward as amended with these two additional provisions. So we look, took a look at the uh, site plan for this property and we wanted to post two additional sentences to be added to the ordinance. The first is the property owner shall repair the street and restrict and renumber the affected parking spaces on Bangs Avenue and Bond Street at the direction of the city's transportation planner. The issue is when they remove those three parking spaces, the striping has to be slightly adjusted in order to avoid any conflicts with the driveway. So we're asking that they uh, repair any of the roadway around where they're doing curb cuts and then restripe and renumber those spaces. When you say they would restripe and renumber those spaces, you mean they pay DPW to restripe those spaces? No, they would, they would have their contractor paint. Oh, okay. Okay. The second sentence is, as per the planning board resolution, the applicant is responsible for streetscape improvements in the right-of-way. Therefore, in order to mitigate potential safety hazards with the installation of curb cuts for the driveways, the applicant shall provide pedestrian-scale light fixtures 
in the public right away as illustrated in the Central Business District Redevelopment Plan, Streetscape Design Guidelines, and shall be approved by the City Transportation Planner. Uh, we noticed that there was no lighting plan submitted for that planning board application, and our concern is it's a, it's a very dark intersection, and with the installation of driveways and curb cuts, um, conflicts with pedestrians, cars may not see pedestrians walking in the, in the neighborhood of the driveway. So we're recommending that the applicant provide pedestrian scale light fixtures along the sidewalks. Thank you. <clears throat> Any other matters? Nope. All right, at this time we will break until the 7 p.m. regular meeting. Yes. Great. Thank you. Meeting of December 13, 2017 mm -hmm. of the council. Councilmember Chapman? Here. Councilmember Clayton? Here. Councilmember Kendall? Here. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Here. Mayor Moore? Here. Please rise for a silent prayer moment of reflection, please. I'll turn this to you tonight. Flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. As to comply with the Open Public oh, no, Meeting I'm Act, chapter 231, Public Law 1975, adequate notice of this meeting has been provided in the following manner. The annual notice was forwarded to the Asbury Park Press, the Coaster, and the Star Ledger on January 3rd, 2017, and posted on a bulletin board the same date. All notices are on file with the City Clerk. Um, this evening, we will have a proclamation uh, being presented by <laughs> Deputy Mayor Quinn. Oh, did you send me a mic? No, she does not. <laughs> so the city of Asbury Park is giving a proclamation to Herrick Josephine. Um, I think everybody in this room knows um, Herrick is certainly been the face of ATTV for years. Josephine has been behind the scenes um, helping me for years with the social media in Asbury Park on our Facebook pages and everything else. Um, so I'm going to read the, first of all, this was a really good order. This was a really good order. <laughs> okay. Whereas Hera and Josephine have both made invaluable contributions to the city of Asbury Park, its residents and visitors. Hera's forward thinking led him to begin recording events at the St. Patrick's Day Parade, annual Easter pageant parade, and various other events around town and at the Asbury Park High School that has rarely been documented before. This progressive move led to capture many memorable moments to be shared with and revisited by future gener generations. APTV's growth far exceeds what one would normally expect of an all-volunteer body as a result of Hera's dynamic vision, inspiration, and leadership. Josephine has volunteered her time to building this city's social media outreach for the last four years. Her passion for the community and drive to keep us all informed and connected helped grow the city's Facebook pages from what started as a few hundred into thousands. This same passion has moved Josephine to continue to volunteer her time and lend her skills and talents to ensure that past, present, and future residents and visitors of Asbury Park remain connected. Now, therefore, be it resolved, the mayor and Asbury Park City Council thereby acknowledge and thank Karen Josephine for their passion, dedication, commitment to keeping the community and future generations connected and informed. Thank you. Um, thank you. Uh, um, I just wanted to uh, to say that I I valued my, my time with APTV and with the city and I want to encourage anybody um, anybody and everybody to get involved in the community find something that that interests you it's a great way to meet people that have similar interests and it's a great way um, to get familiar with the community um, when when I got started with APTV uh, we were new in town I was actually new to the country uh, so it was great for for me to learn more about things and, and actively get involved. So thank you. So, um, it's, on. <laughs> <laughs> it's very rare for me to be at um, a meeting, so it's kind of funny because you guys usually see him. I'm usually the voice, I guess you could say, trying to keep everybody, all the fans connected. Um, you know, and I guess in my head, I probably had something more grand to say, <laughs> but, um, you know, my husband really had no reason to volunteer for Asbury Park. Um, <laughs> without getting silly or choked up, I fell in love with this place when I was 15. 
And I remember taking him down Asbury Avenue and <laughs> I was just like, don't you just love it? <laughs> you know, and um, you know, there's something very special about this place that, you know, drives all of us to get involved. And, um, you know, <laughs> uh, you know, like I said, he had no reason to. And um, I was the one with the love with it and it grew on him. And it definitely came um, at a time with our young family. <laughs> and, um, you know, continue to grow it. Um, you don't know where volunteering will take you. Um, you don't know, you know, what friends, new family members <laughs> that you're gonna make. And, um, you know, just really remember why you came here. You know, if you're here at a council meeting, you've got the passion. If you're here, um, you know, you, we could have just enjoyed the beach like everybody else. <laughs> but, um, you know, like I said, it really, um, volunteering actually opened up a lot of doors for us. And so, thank you. And <laughs> you're part of my nervousness, but, um, you know, thank you. Thank you for having such a big heart and loving a city that captured me at 15. <laughs> <laughs> have a motion to open the meeting to the public please move it second, second. each member who wishes to come speak please come up to the mic state your name and address for the record each member of the public has three minutes to speak <coughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, my name is Merman Ruffin. I've been down here before. I'm just down here about the project on the beach. Um, I thank you for what you did for me the first time. I can hear but it, I go down there every morning and I talk to Jose or whatever about the, a job. He keeps you know, telling me to come back, come back every morning. I've been seeing people get hired that hasn't been down there, or dedicated as I have been being down there looking for a job. Me and the young man over there, Gregory Darton. We go there every morning. We've been down there every morning for the last two weeks. I've been on the app. I have filled out my application. We both filled out our applications in October. It's two months now. They done hired, they say 50 people, but they haven't hired 50 people. They hired a few people that just comes down there and just know people down there that they speak to and they allow them in. I feel as though if somebody from the council or somebody that could go down there in the morning and check and see what's going on, because I do need a job, I have a family to feed. I've been living in Asbury since I was 46 years old, and I'm just looking for a job, and I'm asking for y'all help. Is there any way y'all can help us, you know, do what we have to do to take care of our family and help this town? Because this is our town too, and we do want to help, help out with the growth in our town. That's all. Thank you, and uh, yes, we'll look into it. Michael, uh, can we find out who, who Jose is? as far as what his job title is and how far up he is in the structure and i've talked to mervin before and uh steve at the michaels group has your application and he put it on top and you know i've given you my card said use my card and i think it has helped you get you know over there i know i got your brother helped get your brother a job down there anything we can do we're, we're going to do for right, both of you so uh thank you for being persistent that usually pays off yeah, and I and I kind of figured too maybe if they seen somebody down there besides us like in the higher <coughs> up in, they, they help out but I guess if we don't have no support then they not gonna do nothing so I, I will ask for y'all support and I appreciate it thank okay you. thank you John Grant fourth Avenue I have a question from the agenda packet um, on November 21st that listed um, there was a payment to HUD for $27,525. And I'm wondering that relates to what that relates to. Um, in the Asbury Park Sun, they reported this week um, that the West Side Community Center received $27,525. And it's interesting to me that those amounts are the same. And so I'm wondering why um, HUD was um, paid $27,525. Uh, they're 100% related. 
uh, the West Side Community Center in early 16 needed an emergency boiler repair. Um, it was the middle of the winter and they didn't want their pipes to freeze. So we authorized an emergency boiler repair under an emergency declaration from in HUD guidelines. Um, subsequently, when HUD comes back and does their audit, they said it didn't meet the standards. So we went back and forth a little bit um, and HUD said you have to pay the money back. So what happens is you pay the money back, but in the follow subsequent year, which would be next year for the, the fiscal year, we actually get the money back. So we're paying them back and then we get it back at the end. Um, they just found that the boiler didn't declare as an emergency. That's all. Um, can I ask another question? Sure. Also, on um, in the minutes on or the agenda on August 9th, um, related to the city's audit, you had a um, corrective action plan. Six of the points were related to HUD compliance. Yes. And has that been addressed? Yes. Um, the last meeting, I believe it was, um, mm -hmm. operation, the daily operations of the CDBG program is gone to the county. Uh, we recommended that the county take it over. We were in negotiations. It was the last meeting of the meeting before the mayor and council authorized a shared service for the county to administer everything. Um, so that's how that's been addressed. Is it's been repeat audit findings. That, that's no secret. It's been I've mentioned it. It's been mentioned here, um, but now the county's managing it. So those findings should go away. All right. That's interesting. Thank you. Thank you. I have a motion to close. Move it. Second. Land of Muhammad, <coughs> Lake Avenue. Uh, what is the city's concern about the West Side Community Center? I'm sorry, can you just state your name again? Because I didn't. Leander Muhammad. Thank you. That's your. That's that's it. It. Yes, that's is my question. Okay. What is the city's concern <coughs> about the West Side Community Center? What is the interest? We have no controlling interest of the board, the membership. We have nothing to do, say, or how it operates. Currently, they are in municipal court for alleged, and I say alleged because it hasn't been found guilty yet, um, violations. When we were in tax court in August, right now they're appealing our tax assessor's decision that they are not tax exempt and therefore exempt from playing property taxes. Right. Um, they identified certain activities that they were doing. Um, a gentleman declared that he was running his construction business out of there. Correct. Well, there's no permits for that. There's no zoning approval for that. There's no mercantile licenses for that. Um, and I was actually in that court hearing. So we went back, our inspectors went, um, issued summonses, notice of violations, sought access to the building. Um, we went to court. The judge said he wanted the transcripts from the tax court. It's actually on for, I think, Tuesday hearing about it. Um, so our interest is we have no regulatory control other than the local ordinances, um, which myself and Kevin was actually at the meeting also, um, the tax board in August. They said they did things, we investigated. And right now it's in court with hopefully settlement on Tuesday. Okay, is that municipal or? Yeah, it's here. Okay, what time would that be? I, they usually start at 10, maybe nine. I don't know how many trials they have that day. So I would get here early if you're gonna come see because the parking lot fills up quickly. Thank you. You're welcome. Motion to adjourn. Close. <laughs> Move it. Second. All right, we're going on to minutes. We had three sets of minutes this evening. We have executive session minutes of November 21st, 2017, workshop minutes of November 21st, 2017, and we have regular session minutes of November 21st, 2017. Can I have a motion to approve those minutes, please? Move it. Second. Second. Any comments or questions? Councilmember Chapman? Yes. Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. We'll move on to the consent agenda. We have several items. Resolution 2017-364 is the resolution for authorizing special events. Resolution 2017-365, setting the reorganization meeting date for 2018, which will be uh, January 3rd at 7 p.m. here in the Council Chambers. 2017-366, resolution approving award of contract for regional contribution agreement project for 1409 Summerfield Avenue. 2017-367, resolution to terminate sewer account billing for 610 First Avenue. 
2017-368 resolution approving disposition of surplus property with no value. 2017-369 resolution approving Asbury One liquor license LLC. 2017-2018 liquor license renewals. 2017-370 resolution rescinding liquor license 1303-33-013. 001 Monmouth Lodge number 122 for 2017 and 18 liquor license renewal year and this is just because they have to get approval through the director 2017 371 public nursing services for January 1st 2018 and to, through December 31st 2018 would anybody like any of those resolutions pulled from the consent agenda hearing none can I have a motion to approve the consent move it second Councilmember Chapman. Yes. Councilmember Clayton. Yes. Councilmember Kendall. Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Yes. Mayor Moore. Yes. At this time, can I have a motion to uh, add resolution 2017-379, which is entering into Madison, an agreement with Madison Asbury for Fourth Avenue Pavilion <coughs> subsequent developers agreement. Moved it. Second. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? And then we'll continue at the top of the individual resolutions at this point. We have resolution 2017-372, resolution of the City of Asbury Park referring proposed redevelopment plan for 1001 First Avenue, City of Asbury Park, Monmouth County, Block 401, Lot 10 and 11, 12, 13, dated December 7, 2017, in accordance with the local redevelopment and housing law and JSA 40A, colon 12A-7. I have a motion to approve, please. Move it. Second. Any comments or questions? Councilmember Chapman? Yes. Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Resolution 2017-373, resolution approving change order number one and two for <coughs> Fourth Avenue improvements. Can I have a motion, please? Move it. Second. Any comments or questions? Yeah, one, hold on one second, please. Yes, this is the one. Uh, I was very happy to see back in, well, it started back in August or whatever when the contractor was going around putting purple dots on trees they were going to cut down. So I moaned and groaned about it. These were beautiful big shade trees. They were able to do this job and not cut those trees down. So that's deeply appreciated. So six trees were saved on 4th Avenue and uh, it's a great canopy. It just always confuses me how the deducts are exactly the same. And I talked to the city manager about this today. It's the same exact penny as the extras. So <laughs> I know that's normal, but it just always just amuses me. Somehow they balance that budget. How do you, how do you balance cutting down six trees with something else? Whatever. Any other comments? Thank you. Councilmember Chapman? Yes. Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Resolution 2017-374, resolution authorizing change order 17 and 18 with BlackRock Enterprises for the road program. Can I have a motion, please? Move it. Second. Any comments or questions? Councilmember Chapman? Yes. Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Resolution 2017-375, approval of payment of bills. Can I have a motion, please? Move it. Second. Any comments or questions? Councilmember Chapman? Yes. Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? No. I was reading. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Resolution 2017-376, resolution authorizing the transfer of appropriations in fiscal year 2017 budget. Have a motion, please. Move it. Second. Any comments or questions? Councilmember Chapman? Yes. Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Resolution 2017-377, authorizing execution of shared services agreement with the Township of Ocean Sewage Authority for technical rescue services for confined space entry. Can I have a motion, please? Move it. Second. Any comments or questions? 
Councilmember Chapman. Yes. Councilmember Clayton. Yes. Councilmember Kendall. Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Yes. Mayor Moore. Yes. Resolution 2017-378, resolution authorizing the purchase of electricity. Can I have a motion, please? Move it. Second. Any comments or questions? What's the estimated savings on this? $85,000. Thank you. Nice. Councilmember Chapman. Yes. Councilmember Clayton. Yes. Councilmember Kendall. Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Yes. Mayor Moore. Yes. Resolution 2017-379, entering into agreement with Madison Asbury for Fourth Avenue Pavilion subsequent developers agreement. Move it. Have a second. Second. Do we want to answer? Any comments or questions? We're okay with that. Okay. No. Okay. Council Member Chapman. Um, we added the time on there, right, Michael? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Councilmember Clayton. Yes. Councilmember Kendall. Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Yes. Mayor Moore. Yes. Go on to ordinances, introductions, ordinance 2017-45, an ordinance establishing a restricted parking space for use by handicapped persons at properties located at 12, I'm sorry, 1021 Third Avenue in the city of Asbury Park and amending and supplementing section 7-36 entitled Handicap Parking of Chapter 7 Traffic of the Revised General Ordinances of the City of Asbury Park, New Jersey. Can I have a motion to introduce, please? Move it. Second. Comments or questions? Councilmember Chapman? Yes. Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Public hearing is scheduled for December 27, 2017. Ordinance 2017-46, an ordinance amending and supplementing section 28-1 administration by amending subsection 28-1.5 vital statistics of chapter 28 health regulations of the code of the city of Asbury Park, New Jersey. I have a motion to introduce this ordinance, please. Move it. Second. Councilmember Chapman? Yes. Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Public hearing is scheduled for December 27, 2017. Ordinance 2017 47, an ordinance of the Mayor and Council of the City of Asbury Park authorizing the removal of three on street parking spaces located on Bangs Avenue and Bond Street in connection with the development. The property located at 700 Bangs Avenue, Block 2508, Lot 2. This motion will also include the amendment that was made during workshop. Can I have a motion, please? Move it. Second. Councilmember Chapman. Yes. yes. Councilmember Clayton. Yes. <laughs> Councilmember Kendall. Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Yes. Mayor Moore. No. Public hearing is scheduled for December 27, 2017. We're on to public hearing, second reading, ordinance 2017-41, ordinance of the city of Asbury Park supplementing traffic and parking regulations for chapter seven <coughs> establishing section 7-7.5 general provisions. <laughs> Can I have a motion to open ordinance 2017-41 to the public please? Move it. Second. Having no comments or questions, can I have a motion to close to the public, please? I have a question. Hold on. Well, no, now you're closing. in public. Wait. Oh. Public comment. Okay. Motion to close, please. Move it. Second. Second. Yes. Ms. Chapman, your question, please. I did. So, are we actually are we painting the curbs where people can't park? Okay. That was my question. I have a motion to adopt ordinance 2017-41, please. Move it. Second. Councilmember Chapman. Yes. Councilmember Clayton. Yes. Councilmember Kendall. Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Yes. Mayor Moore. Yes. Ordinance 2017-42, ordinance of the City of Asbury Park amending and supplementing Chapter 7 of the Code of the City of Asbury Park regarding traffic and parking regulations. I have a motion to open 2017-42 to the public, please. Move it. Second. Seeing no comments or questions, can I have a motion to close, please? Move it. Second. Can I have a motion to adopt ordinance 2017-42, please? So moved. Second. Councilmember Cha uh, Chapman? Yes. Sorry. Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. 
Ordinance 2017-44 and Ordinance Repealing Section 2-43 entitled Public Arts Committee of Chapter 2 Administration and establishing a new Section 2-43 thereof entitled Public Arts Commission and amending Section 4-18 entitled Murals of Chapter 4 General or Licensing of the Code of the Asbury Park, New Jersey. Can I have a motion to open this uh, ordinance up to the public, please? Move it. Move Second. It. Okay. See no comments. Can I have a motion to close, please? Move it. Second. I have a motion to adopt ordinance 2017-44, please. Move it. Second. Okay. Council Member Chapman. Yes. Council Member Clayton. Yes. Council Member Kendall. Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Yes. Mayor Moore. Yes. I have a motion to adjourn, please. Move, Move it. it. Second. Where's Rita?